Alright. Okay. Oh, that cleans up my PayPal pretty good there. Oh. Well, at least Bitcoin's up. I think now that I've paid for it, it's pretty much a done deal and I can say something about it. So, I wanted to get solar panels for this new boat. And really, it was kind of a pipe dream. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to get that. But just in case, I wrote to the, the same company that sent me solar panels for my last boat. They sent me four of them for free with all the connectors and everything. It was amazing. So I wrote them back and I was like, hey, you know, I'm doing this new boat. It kind of needs like three times as many solar panels as before. You know, I don't want to be sound greedy or anything, but, you know, is there anything you can do? And uh, so the lady writes back and is like, whoa, that's a, that's a lot of solar panel power there. Uh, I don't think we can, we can just give you all that, but if you, if you pay part of it, we'll send it to you. And the, the price she quoted me was like 1,500 euros for 12, 216 watt solar panels. Now that's cheaper than I could buy the lowest quality solar panels. And these are like, these ones are pretty expensive. It's from this company, Solbion. I really was not expecting to be able to do this. So what that means is that I can cover this boat, which goes way up there, with solar panels, like basically end to end, side to side. I think it's like 20, 2,500 watts. Whew. Now 1,500 euros is a little bit over my monthly income by a fair amount. Um, but I can afford it if I squeeze a little and I kind of have to do it because if I do it right, I'll be able to get this boat pretty fast and be able to go to town and back. And I've already saved, well this year I haven't taken any, any gas boat rides to town because previous years I would get rides with neighbors and stuff and then you know pay for gas and stuff. I figure I probably saved five or six hundred dollars just this year in not taking gas rides, just pedal boating or using the the last solar boat. Now, the only problem with the last solar boat is it's, it's too small for, for more than one person and any reasonable amount of cargo. It's great if it's just me and like groceries but anything more than that I need a bigger boat, so that's why I have the new one. So, uh, let me think. So, this is what I've basically been dreaming about, thinking I wouldn't really be able to do it, but then they came through and said, yeah, we can cover this much solar panel space for you, which is amazing. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make these two solar sails. Well, two sails that pop up whoosh, to be sails. I'm, I think probably most of the time I'll just use one, but if I'm going downwind and uh, I just want some more sail area, I can use both. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll figure out that all out once I'm actually using it. But you know, right now it looks like the solar or the uh, the sails are unbalanced a little bit heavy on the front. But anyway, um, so now I can cover these all with solar panels. So I gotta figure out some kind of really good motor system. Hmm. Oh, okay, so with this much coolness, this many this much power coming in off the solar panels, I have to do something really good. And I'm strongly considering like making a serious attempt at hydrofoils. I've I've messed around with them a little bit before, but not I haven't like, you know, really gotten into it. Um, but even before I get into that, I need to figure out the motor situation. And I want to do the motor in a way that it could, uh, could work with hydrofoils. So presuming the boat lifts up out of the water, the motor has to still be in the water. Um, so I have to keep that in mind. I wonder if I could get a, any kind of sponsorship from a motor place like a electric boat motor place that would be pretty sweet well, let's see I got 2500 watts coming in maybe count on 
I mean, just because there's inefficiencies and clouds and blah, blah, blah. Like, I can count on consistent, like, two horsepower anyway out of that. Um, so I can put a two horsepower motor on there and just run it for, like, hours. Full, full power. Presuming I have decent sun on the day. So, I need, a, need like, a two-ish horsepower motor. At least, it could be a little more... And, you know, I just wouldn't be able to run it at full power, but... So, two-ish horsepower. Um, I could do what I've been doing, which is just make something myself. Let's see, on the... On my last boat, <clears throat> I just did motor, straight shaft, that's, you know, at an angle, and then propeller at the bottom. So, um, then I put the motor up in the boat, and I have the shaft coming out. And on, on this boat, I'd want it to be able to tip up so I can pull the motor out if I'm just pedaling for some reason or if I'm just using the sails and the motor's not doing anything. I want to be able to pull the, the motor out of the water and then put it back in. Another option would be if I can find some place that would either give me a discount or just, you know, send me one because I don't have enough money for this, obviously. I mean, not obviously, but I don't have enough money for this. But if I could get, like, uh, well, let me just look online. So there's a lot of stuff that I could use. Hmm. You know, a standard outboard kind of thing would be the easiest thing to install. Something like that or like that. These are kind of cool. Man, 4500 bucks. Whoa. But that wouldn't be that hard to install, too. That'd be kind of nice because it's small. Of course, this would be easier to install. Ah, it's too big. It's oh, about the right size. Of course, then there's also the option of just buying a two horsepower motor and, you know, building everything myself. And one, one way I have done before is to use the bottom, like the gearbox part of an existing outboard but all the ones I've used before have been, you know, old and very used. That's how I get them for like 50 bucks or whatever. So if I was going to do that, I'd want to get something newer. Um, and then the other option is just the motor and the long shaft to the propeller. Which I like because there's hardly any moving parts. Uh, like there's no, no shaft seals to worry about or anything like that. I guess I gotta think about this. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of thinking to do here. Maybe I'll write some of these companies. See if anyone will uh, send me something. You know, I guess it doesn't hurt to ask. And occasionally, someone is like, yeah, I'll send you something. Hmm. The only thing I know for sure right now is that whatever I do it has to be amazing to warrant all these solar panels on the boat. This is, this is gonna have to be a pretty awesome boat. It's going to take the solar panels a while to get here. So I have some time to think about it. And I can make the sails before the solar panels get here. And that'll actually be fun to just drive it around on the, the pedal drive and the sails for a little bit before the solar panels arrive. And then I have to figure out... I don't know, maybe by the time they get here I'll have all the rest figured out. I don't know. i got to do something really good, though.